I'm going to help answer the matrix question about solving a system of two variables and two equations. So the common coefficient matrix is 6, negative 1, negative 1, negative 7. And if any arbitrary matrix that's a 2 by 2 is A, B, C, D, then this is how you can find its inverse. That's the formula. So we first need the determinant, and for this it's minus 42, because you multiply this way, and then minus what you get when you multiply this way, and that is 1. So this determinant is minus 43. So we know that the inverse is going to be 1, or negative 1 over 43, That's this 1 over the determinant of A. And then we're just going to swap. Let me erase these so you can see it better. Then we're just going to swap D and A, or the 6 and negative 7. So I'm going to put the negative 7 here and the 6 here. And then I'm going to negate. All I have to do, I leave B and C in place, and I negate them. So that makes this 1 and 1. So this is our inverse, the one they're looking for in the problem. OK, now we're supposed to be finding a solution to the system. And we do that by putting the solution vector Well, here it is. By multiplying the inverse times the solution vector. Okay, and for A, we have one solution vector, and for B, we have another. So, in green, let's work on A here. Okay, so A has a solution vector of negative 2 negative 3. So we are going to take A inverse and multiply it by B and that should give us our answer vector which will be X and Y. So um, this is going to be 7 over 43 this is going to be negative 1 over 43. This is going to be negative 1 over 43. And this is going to be negative 6 over 43. And I'm going to multiply that by negative 2, negative 3. So my solution where this top one is x and this bottom one is y is this is negative 14 plus 4 negative 14 sorry negative 14 plus 3 is negative 11 over 43 and the y value is going to be 2 plus 18 is 20 over 43. So that should be the solution to the first one. And we can check it. We can go 6 times negative 11 over 43 minus y, which is minus 20 over 43, and that equals negative 66 plus 20 over 43, oh, which gives us, sorry, I got it wrong, minus 20 
gives us negative 86 over 43, which equals negative 2. So it at least works for the first, the top equation in part A. Let's try it for the bottom. This is negative x, so that's going to make this a positive 11 over 43, minus 7 times 20 over 43. So that makes this 11 minus 140 makes this negative 129 over 43. And that equals negative 3, just like it's supposed to. So this is the correct solution to part A. And I'm not sure if your teacher wants it in point form, but if your teacher does, it will be negative 11 over 43 is the x-coordinate, and 20 over 43 is your y-coordinate. So I kind of have a feeling that's what your teacher is going to want. Okay, now let's do it again for B. And we'll do this one in purple. So we're going to take A inverse for part B. And this time is 1, negative 2. So... This is going to be 7 over 43, negative 1 over 43, negative 1 over 43, negative 6 over 43. And I'm going to multiply that by my 1 on top and my negative 2 on the bottom. Okay, so this gives us, we're going to have x on top, and we're going to have y on the bottom when we're all done. This is 7 over 43 plus 2 over 43. I think that makes 9 over 43. 7 plus 2, yeah. And this one is going to be negative 1 plus 12. Looks like this is going to be 11 over 43. And once again, if we're not sure, let's check it. So the bottom equation, we're going to go 6 times. Our new x is 9 over 43. Minus our new y is 11 over 43. So this is 6 times 9 minus 11. That gives us 43 over 43. And that equals 1. And so we're good to go on the top equation. Let's try it in the bottom equation. So negative of our new x is negative 9 over 43 minus 7 times our new y, which is 11 over 43. So this is negative 9 minus 77 is minus 86 over 43, which equals negative 2. And that's exactly what we were supposed to get. So I'm pretty sure that your teacher wants this answer as a point. And so the x-coordinate is 9 over 43. And the y-coordinate, they were both positive? Yep, is 11 over 43. So I believe that those are the answers to all of the questions in this problem.